Hey guys, so today's video is a little bit different. I'm actually going to be showing you my perfume collection. When I say perfume collection, I mean a few perfumes. I don't have a gigantic perfume collection. And I know a lot of people do, but I don't. If my voice sounds a little bit different, it is because I am a little bit sick and I'm a little bit behind on filming. So I wanted to film today, even though I sound horrendous. Today's video was actually requested by my Aunt Tina. So Aunt Tina, if you're watching this, this is for you. Um, you requested this of me and so I did not forget. So I actually discovered like my favorite fragrances and perfumes by going to Sephora and getting a free sample. Um, Sephora always offers free samples of perfume, of makeup, so I would highly recommend if you ever go to Sephora or even Ulta, request a sample size because you can always test things out that way. They give you these little squirt bottles and I always pick them up because they're free. They're great for traveling. Um, but also, I love sticking this in my purse and just having the fragrance of the day. So you can really stock up on these. I have... Like, I have so many of these and I carry them around with me when I travel. I use them when I'm trying to find a new scent. So I would highly recommend that you get a sample size of the perfume first before you buy a full size because perfume is expensive. It's ridiculous. So that is my one tip to you guys is just run into your Ulta, run into Sephora, ask for sample sizes of the perfumes and try them out first because sometimes the scents won't last as long on your body or they are too fruity, they're too citrusy. Everybody's body chemistry is different. So yeah, that is just my little rant of the day and my little tip for you um, because I've made that mistake and that's an expensive mistake. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this video. If you like seeing beauty and lifestyle videos, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I do upload beauty content Monday and Friday at 2. The Daisy Marc Jacobs is my favorite summer and springtime perfume. I feel like this packaging in itself just states summer and spring. I wear this in the winter, I don't care. I wear this all the time. This is my ultimate favorite perfume. The original Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. They do have several variations of this perfume, but I just, I love the original. This is their 3.4 ounce and this is $106. For this size of perfume, that's actually a pretty reasonable price, especially for Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs is a pretty pricey brand. I love the mixture of the strawberry and jasmine. You definitely get a sweet citrusy smell, but it's more floral. Um, the notes in this perfume include strawberry, violet leaves, and jasmine. I'll include them up here somewhere on the screen so you can see what exactly I'm talking about. Paul could always pick out this perfume whenever I wear it. This is his favorite too. Like it just is the best scent on my body type. So love it when you find stuff that really worked for you. The next perfume that I want to share with you, actually I wore at my wedding. This is a very, very rare special occasion type of perfume and it's expensive so now that we've gotten it out of the way that this is very 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 expensive the chanel coco mademoiselle Sh what <sighs> the coco chanel mademoiselle perfume since this was my wedding perfume i only wear this on like anniversaries or like really special dates or something as you can see like i don't use very much because this just has so many memories attached to it so when i wear this i'm very sentimental i like wearing this and saving it for special occasions this is a 1.7 ounce and it was 105 dollars for this little guy this is like a very strong warm floral scent it's very sexy I feel elegant but sexy when I wear this scent. I have an eyelash stuck to it. So I try to use this very sparingly. This is a special occasion only perfume. And I wear this year round. It's just designated for my special occasions. So my last and most worn perfume is definitely the Estee Lauder Pleasures. My mom wore this perfume all the time and I loved it. I just felt so grown up when I started wearing this perfume. I, I'm pretty sure this is the very first perfume that I ever owned. And you can see like I've used so much of it, like I need to get another one. I've always thought that my mom was the most beautiful, strong woman 
and this scent just defined her. So the main notes in this perfume include lilies, white peonies, jasmine, and rose. Some type of rose. Bay rose? I don't know. So apparently I love jasmine because all of mo I think, I don't think Coco Mademoiselle has jasmine in it, but the Daisy and the Estee Lauder Pleasures perfume both have jasmine and I love that scent. Something about that scent really draws me in and works really well with my body chemistry. As you can see, this is my most worn daily perfume. This is a 3.4 ounce. Oh no, this is a 1.7 ounce. Um, I don't know how much the 1.7 ounce is, but the 3.4 ounce is $98. So it's a little bit more affordable than the Daisy Marc Jacobs perfume. And well, I would say a lot more affordable. This scent always just makes me smell very clean and elegant and put together, which I'm not. I don't know. I just like how fresh and clean this scent is. And people are like, oh, my mom wears that perfume. I'm not going to wear that. Are you kidding me? My mom wore this perfume all the time and she smelled amazing. So she also likes the Clinique Happy perfume and I like that one too. That one's good. My mom has good taste in perfume. Let me tell you what. All three of these perfumes last all day on my skin. In fact, the Coco Mademoiselle lasts even into the next day. So this is a very strong perfume. But these two are like perfect for like every day or date night, something like that. It doesn't have to be every day. I don't wear them every day because they're a little bit more expensive. I tend to wear more of my like body sprays like my Brazilian Crush from, I just had a mind blank, Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro. What? The one scent that I do like from Bath and Body Works is the Sensual Amber. This just... This sits really nicely on my skin. It's a little bit strong, but once it like diffuses onto your body and everything and lets it kind of sink in a little bit, <laughs> it smells better. I do not put a lot of this on. This is actually a new bottle that I just purchased. A few of the sample size perfumes that I love and I always take with me um, are the Ralph Lauren scents. I have a Tender Romance, the Ralph Lauren Romance, and then Midnight Romance. So the whole Romance collection line from Ralph Lauren is really good too. I like those scents. The Philosophy of Pure Grace perfume is my favorite perfume to travel with. I don't know what it is about this perfume, but it gets the most compliments from everybody. Like uh, whenever I wear that perfume, I always get compliments and I always have people asking what I'm wearing. Pure Grace by Philosophy. Not the Amazing Grace, which is a different one. I never buy the two ounce, which the two ounce is $50, but I always get like the 0.33 ounce or the 0.5 ounce. This is actually a 3.3 ounce. This is like a 100 points reward that I always, if they have this as an option, I always get this. It's very clean, very crisp, makes you feel refreshed. Okay, so actually, I'm looking at the detailed description on Sephora and it says pure, crisp, and clean. Exactly. But anyway guys, I think that about wraps up this perfume collection video. Let me know if there are any video requests that you have of me. Comment down below if you do, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!